everyone. Um, I just got done with court, finally. <laughs> so they are filling, are doing a summons and not a warrant out for my arrest. So I will not go out to jail today. But now they granted, Judge Reynolds granted Child Protective Services another six months of abuse and neglect towards Madison. And I told the judge right there, I was like, I will be appealing that because I'm taking this to a different court. And he looks at me like kind of, what? <laughs> well, because this is ridiculous. Do what? So you can see you. Oh. <laughs> You're looking the way out. Well, no, I mean, it's, it I goes like, I know. it's like right in my face, but there's so <laughs> <laughs> But I'm turning my Facebook back on because I did turn it off. I deactivated it for the, just the time being so they couldn't use any sort of negativity on me or anything like that. So I deactivated it. But as soon as I get back to my truck, I will put my you or my Facebook back on because my phone is acting all sorts of real, like weird and stuff. But um, I know Strassi got some good news from the FBI that they're going to look into this case and other cases that are in Montana. They want people to email their stories to them. So if you have a story that you want to be heard, please do so and report. Stick to details. Stick to details and um, report to the FBI. Tips, T-I-P-S dot gov dot, uh, no, tips dot FBI dot gov. Send them the story, just the details. Okay. <laughs> Did I say anything? Nah, yeah, damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, her t the, the, her attorney was actually glorifying the fact that we are standing by her side, fighting by by her side to help her with this, and uh, he wants to help out too because it's gone out of hand in other cases he's a part of, and it's tearing him apart as well. To be an attorney. And being torn apart inside by the lies and shit that family court is doing to families, that speaks volume. I mean, come on. Exactly. And that was um, Brett Flowers, and he filled in for um, Greg Beebe because Greg Beebe is sick, Whatever. I guess. I mean, he hasn't called me back. But Brett came into the picture, and he's like, I noticed he hasn't, you know, replied back to you, so I'm going to reach out to you. So I'm glad he did. Yeah. And I mean... So I had um, him tell me yesterday that Amby Pierner filed for that next, our third falsified felony against me, custodial interference when I was in jail. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in jail. Because the fact that I talked to Destiny when I was in jail. I, I mean, I don't have no control when I'm in jail. Yeah. So I don't know how at all I could get custodial interference when... I'm in jail. I don't have any, anything. Like, I can't do anything. I can't make anything happen. I can't, whatever, but. In jail illegally, <laughs> which has been proven by a signature stating mom was falsely imprisoned on paper that Laura McCall signed. And, and, Anna, whatever. Her, Annie Myers. Annie yep. Myers signed. They yep. both signed it, validating that it was illegally done. And yet the judge still isn't doing shit to help out this case. <laughs> What's wrong with that picture? Well, he told me that um, when I told him, I was like, you know, they took my daughter off of a non-narcotic substance that they knowingly changed into presumed positive crack. Well, uh, that's already, you know, um, we've already um, done that. I already, you know, the like... The case would be closed. If they already did that, the case would no, be closed. No, they said that, or he said that he's already given um, CPS youth and care in need. So that's like water under the bridge. It doesn't mean anything. That it was done illegally. <laughs> the from the get-go was done illegally. Just admitted to it and instead continuing. Yep. That judge just admit the fact to your face that he did it, that he let it go. If that's true, then the case should be closed. Exactly. That, the whole case would start off that. Well, because Madison came out with methamphetamines in her hair and <laughs> she was in my care. And I was like, no, she was not in my care. She was in my mother's care. Well, uh, she... Why are you placing or placing your daughter in somebody that's going to put methamphetamines in her hair? And I was she like, did. no, I put my daughter in the safety of my mother to protect her, and that would be from the negativity that you know. Your older daughter was positive. I mean, and like I talked to Destiny last night, and she's upset. She didn't want to talk to me anymore, 
and I told her, you know, I am doing all of this for both of you. I mean, it's not just Madison because she's feeling very butthurt and very, you know, like whatever. I was like, you know, what matters though is a innocent child word versus an almost growing, you know, young lady. Yeah. That's 16 years old that wants to be emancipated and that wants to be on her own free will. So I was giving her her wings to fly, you know, like. And you're getting punished for it with your daughter daughter being taken away. Yep, exactly. Illegally, that the judge just stated that was done illegally in court and still isn't doing shit about it. Oh my gosh, how ignorant are these people being trained? I'm still just thinking that I might get arrested, though. <laughs> well, I sure hope not, because we, that's why we're doing all this live stuff, so that people can see that this is all set up, and we can, and it's, everyone's seeing it. Yeah, because when I asked Brent, or Brent Flower, or Brent Flowers, I was like, uh, when am I going to get this summons? And he's like, well, I don't know. I was like, okay, um, he's like, but don't search for it. I was like, well, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to search to go to jail. I already did, like, a I'm complying with everything. Yeah. And they're like, oh, um, I didn't do drug tests for two months because I was moving from my house in Helena to my mom's in Culbertson because that's where I want to live. And that's where I was planning on living. But they will not move my visitation, so that's the only thing that's drawn me back to this town. Yeah, I got you. So that's why I didn't finalizely get everything moved over to my mom's. I mean, I did, because all my stuff's over at my mom's, still on a trailer in Culbertson, and I don't have anything but my clothes. I mean, this is ridiculous. Try to be a family and do the right thing, and you yep. get punished for something that's not true. Exactly. All right, we'll go and close out, and we'll get back to them later. All right, I love you guys.